too good to be true. New Mexico's attorney general is asking the feds to do something about all those colleges that advertise on TV claiming they're the key to a better life. This time, they're going after the agency that gives those schools the stamp of approval. Here's News 13's Dean Staley. Just a few years ago on special assignment, we profiled an Albuquerque school that was supposed to be training medical assistants. They closed abruptly after collecting tuition, leaving more than 100 students high and dry. I may just have to end up starting completely over and have all those loans there that I have to pay back. That was a 22-year-old Albuquerque mom wondering what she was going to do after ATI Career Services closed its doors in 2013. Just one of thousands of students who borrowed big bucks for degrees from for-profit schools. ITT Tech is the first place we call when we're ready to hire. You see the TV ads all the time. Promises of a better future, a better job, by getting a degree. This week, New Mexico's Attorney General, along with 11 others from around the country, sent a letter to the U.S. Education Secretary asking the feds to crack down on the organization that signs off on for-profit schools like Brown Mackey College and ITT Tech. A lot of times they'll uh, misrepresent their job placement uh, expectations. They will also kind of shortchange them on the quality of education they receive. And I'm concerned that they're charging excessive costs. Heald College even offers job placement assistance for graduates. Career schools like Heald, which suddenly closed last year, have been the targets of lawsuits by states around the country, accused of using false job placement claims to lure students, then leaving them with lots of debt and sometimes worthless degrees. The attorneys general behind the letter want the feds to quit recognizing the national organization that accredits them, the Accrediting Council for Independent Colleges and Schools, or ASICs saying stronger oversight is necessary to, quote, protect vulnerable students from predatory schools and profit-seeking institutions offering training of no educational value. The AG's office wants the Department of Education to revoke A6 license as one of the country's two accrediting agencies for these career schools. No word on when the Education Department might do that. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Dean. Now, according to the AG's letter, the schools that ASICs have accredited have a meager 35% graduation rate. Schools with the accreditation qualify for billions of dollars in federal student loans.